Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Anthony Hadley Jr. I am a Los Angeles based creative that predominantly makes content based around film, lifestyle, and tech. So previously I broke down my reason for purchasing my EOS M camera and my current rig breakdown. So I won't waste your time in going into all that information because I'm assuming if you're here, you're just here for the information based in the title above. So let's go ahead and jump into it now. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure you've downloaded the MLV app. I will make sure that I leave a link in the description below for where you can find it. Once you've actually loaded your footage onto your computer, the first thing you're going to want to do is go and open up the app. Now you will find your MLV files in the same folder that you traditionally would find all your other Canon camera footage, but you will find that they're going to say .MLV files. So you're going to want to select the footage that you want. I have already selected these from some stuff I shot over the weekend. You then want to drag those files over to the left hand column of your MLV app. Now the good thing about this app is if you want to transcode these raw files into something that's going to be a little bit smaller but still not a raw file, you can do a lot of your processing in here as far as your exposure, your contrast, your pivot, temp and tint, clarity, vibrance, saturation, highlights, shadows. Then you have all of your curves windows. Then you actually have presets as well. But as I said previously in the other video, I bought this camera specifically for its 14-bit codec. So I am just going to transcode these MLV files to Cinema DNG. Uh, I believe the option is going to be lossless or uncompressed. Now I will also mention that you're only going to get this 14-bit codec when you're shooting in HD. You can achieve 10 and maybe 12-bit in other resolutions, but if you want the 14-bit codec, you're going to have to shoot specifically in HD. A couple of other things to note is first, the file type that you choose, whether it's going to be H.264 or 5 or ProRes, or Cinema DNG is going to affect your transcode times. I believe Cinema DNG is going to be the quickest because it has to do the least amount of transcoding. But just know if you want something like H.26 or H.265 or maybe even ProRes, your transcode times are going to be longer. The second thing to note is if you've never worked with Cinema DNG files, they're not going to be traditional files when you get them. What happens as it transcodes is it exports every frame from your video individually as an actual Cinema DNG file. The good thing is it will put all of those files as well as the accompanying video file in one folder. Now the good thing about DaVinci Resolve is once you actually import that container, it will actually assemble it into a traditional video file like you're used to using. Now if you look in your menu bar within the app, aside from your adjustments in the right hand panel, you want to go to these two gears here. This is going to be your export settings. Like I said, here is where you're going to choose. You have a plethora of options, different flavors of ProRes, uncompressed AVI, different flavors of H.264, 265, DNX HD, and GoPro Cineform, amongst others. But for me, as I said before, I'm going to use the Cinema DNG uncompressed. I will leave it at default naming scheme. And then I think for me, like I said, everything else I'm just going to leave as is so I can have the most amount of flexibility to use in post. So I hit close, and then I'm going to hit this um, export selected clips. It will ask me where I want to send them. I'm going to put this in the same exact folder uh, where the original files were. But you can see in the screen record that the actual video is now put into a folder. And within the folder, you can actually see the DNG files. And somewhere in here will be an audio file. Um, yep, the dot .wav file at the bottom. From the time it took to go look through that, we are almost done. I do believe, okay, this is the third of the fourth file. And we can look back since I'm screen recording this, we can see when the actual transcode started compared to when it actually finished. But I think this is going to be two to three minutes total for the whole transcode of about six gigs of footage, six to seven gigs of footage, which I don't believe is very bad at all. And once again, as always, this is on a base level M1 MacBook Air. And the export is ready. These files are done. I will actually put the time that it took uh, in the video somewhere, but I think it's about three-ish minutes. So I have my footage and I can import it now into DaVinci Resolve, but we will save that for a different video. I just wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough on how to use the MLV app to transcode your MLV files from any camera with the Magic Lantern software into something uh, that's going to be easier for you to grade in your NLE of choice. But if you guys have any thoughts or questions or if I missed anything, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.